what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today we're going to cover what little news there is on destiny 2 and let's start off with something pretty epic for all you wrestling fans out there have you heard of kenny omega basically the biggest thing outside of the wwe well yesterday part of new japan pro wrestling in a massive main event within wrestling kingdom 12 he faced off against another legend chris jericho why is this a part of my Destiny video you're wondering? Well Kenny Omega's entrance is the talking point here. He came out dressed as a warlock holding the Vigilance Wing exotic pulse rifle and it was epic. And to be honest it suits him as a character also and we all know he's a well known video game player too. So it's pretty damn cool if you ask me. So moving on and yesterday we got a mini hotfix. What this hotfix did was basically allow people who don't own the Cursor of Scythe DLC to play the upcoming Iron Banner and Faction Rally events. You guys know there was a massive uproar on this matter of locking people out of the content when this DLC was dropped. If you didn't own the DLC you couldn't do many things which you could do upon release of the game which is truly wrong but thankfully Bungie resolved the issue. But to be honest, hey, the idea was still in place and someone somewhere thought this was okay and that is not good at all. So yeah, this hotfix resolved that so when these events spring back up, we are good to go. Okay, so on to other info and that is of the new Prestige Nightfall exclusive emblem rewards. The Garden World Mercury Strike is this week's, well it was this week's Nightfall. Simply complete it on prestige mode and you will be rewarded this exclusive emblem, the Master Cartographer. Then we have the Master Gardener emblem which no doubt you will be rewarded when you beat Mercury's second strike when it is the Nightfall, obviously prestige mode only. The strike is called the Tree of Probability and the emblem is called, like I said, the Master Gardener. So yes, two new exclusive emblems, go get them. Well, actually at the moment you can't like I said, because for some reason the hotfix broke the game. Yeah, you know Bungie, one step forward, two steps back. Something happened within the Nightfall's loot rewards or some rubbish, I'm not even sure. So now the Nightfall has been changed. So unless you did this on Tuesday, there's a good job you won't see this until this strikes the Nightfall again. Okay, so moving on, and this idea was put forth to me by a pal, Mida Life Crisis. Actually, a really interesting to speculate over also. And it's about a new race coming to the game. Mardi's channel can be found linked within the video description. He posts quality daily Destiny 2 videos. So defo be sure to check him out and show him some sweet love. Okay so the race is called the Eldritch. Now these will be known to some but not to most. The first one I've truly took notice to was this right here. It's the description of the Verse 1 Scout Rifle, the Garden Progeny 1. It reads, Two siblings cleaved by time and space, reflections never found alone, the ending of the Eldritch race, a path long seen but never known. That in itself is interesting, it really is. But what other proof is there that this might be a new race coming into the game? Well, a few years ago, this concept image was dropped by Bungie. It reads, Race 5. These look to me what people believe are the darkness, like a strange ghostly spirit. And look at those triangles also, they are important, remember them. Now if you do a quick Google search of the meaning Aldrich, this comes up. Aldrich, weird and sinister, or ghostly. Kind of portrays what we see within that concept image. Now if you've played through the campaign of Destiny 2, the cutscene after Ghoul kicks you off his ship. This cutscene holds some interesting info, check it out. Is mine. Okay so you saw then what we think is kind of a glimpse into the fall of the golden age but that isn't factual. We see people under the water. What's interesting here though is the triangles there too that look to be sinking towards them or going towards them. What are those? How do they relate to this instance? 
Now if you finished the campaign for Destiny 2 after the credits we saw this scene right here of what many people have speculated is the true darkness. What are we seeing here? We are seeing more triangles, this time no doubt in the form of ships, holding what could be this race, the Eldritch. So yes it's really interesting stuff people but obviously this is just speculation but it makes to a decent conversation on what could be coming. Interesting to me to say the least. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did leave a like it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. I told you to fight and you annihilated them. Good.